great to connect with you all again. Do you remember your Bible verse for this week? Try and say it with me. It's John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him will not die, but will live forever. You know, even way back when God made Adam and Eve, and they disobeyed God and had to leave the garden, Jesus was part of God's plan for the world because he knew we would keep messing up. Jesus, God's son, came to live on earth and die for our sins because he loves us that much. But he didn't stay dead. After three days, he rose again and he lives with God in heaven. And now, if we believe in him, we will also one day live forever with God in heaven. That's what this verse is telling us. So thank you, Jenny, for teaching it to us. And thank you, Jesus, for loving us. Now this week, I'm going to tell you another story from Genesis, which is um, in the Old Testament, in your Bible. It's Genesis 11. This story happened after Adam and Eve had to leave the garden, and quite a long time after Noah's family, and of course the animals on the ark, survived the huge flood. Noah's three sons and their wives had children, and their children had children, and their children had children, and so on. And there were lots of people living on earth, and they all spoke the same language. God had told them to spread out and to fill the earth. And as they moved towards the east, they found a beautiful plain, which is like a large area of flat land, in a place called Shinar. And they decided to stop moving. And they settled there. They forgot, or maybe they ignored what God wanted them to do. And they decided to build a great big city instead. They grew proud and decided to build a huge tower that would reach way up to heaven. This was called the Tower of Babel. And perhaps it looked something like this. But they wanted to keep on going up and up until they could reach God in heaven. I tried to make my own Tower of Babel, but I ran out of Duplo blocks way before I could get to heaven. Do you think God was happy with this? Because they wanted to build it to be great and prove how clever they were. No, I don't think God was happy. Why? Because when God has a plan for us, like for the people to spread out into different places, he has a good reason for it. And he knows and wants what's best for us. Sometimes we don't know the reason why. But it's like God can see the bigger picture. And we don't always need to know why, but we just need to trust him. And that's what he wants. It's a bit like when we blindfold someone and then we lead them. We can see any dangers or things they might bump into or fall over, but they can't. And they have to trust the person leading them. We have to trust that God, who can see and knows everything, is looking after us and follow what he says. If we don't, we'll likely go the wrong way. And that won't be the best way for us. And when we start to do our own thing, we become arrogant. And we think that we know better than God, or we forget about him. And that makes him sad, and I guess cross sometimes. So back to the story. What do you think God did? Do you think he did the Actually, no, he didn't. Remember I said everyone spoke the same language? Well, then God made everyone speak different languages so that they couldn't understand each other anymore. They couldn't carry on building the tower because it became much too confusing. So they stopped. And they did what God had wanted them to do in the first place and moved and spread into different parts of the world. So what must we remember from this story? Trust God and follow his way, even when, you don't, even when you don't understand why. God's way is always the best for you. Because why? Because God loves you, and he always wants what's best for you. Let's close in prayer. Thank you, God, that you love us, and that you always want what's best for us. Help us in this week to learn more about you, to become more like you, and to learn to trust in you more. We ask this in Jesus' name.
Amen. Have a great week, everyone, and we'll see you soon. Bye.